Okay, so I thought I'd give uh, some progress on my plants and how far they've come and some of the changes I've made uh, recently. So you can see the kale has grown a lot. I mean, it's doing really well. It's a little too much heat right now. Uh, I think the water is a little too warm. And obviously you've got a lot of direct sun here. So the plant's just getting a little too hot. So it's kind of almost wilted. Um, in the morning, these are, you know, crisp and great. But as soon as they get too hot, it does that. So I've got to figure that out. Maybe get some shade uh, for them. Get a shade cloth over this. My water right now is very cloudy and green. So <clears throat> I had a huge algae problem, scrubbed everything, and I bought um, a different brand of algae killer, uh, algae control. It was in a uh, larger, con larger bottle. Um, they also had the other kind that I had. I think. I can't remember if the other, uh, the normal brand I buy came in a larger container or not. That might have been why I got a different kind. So I'm not sure if, if that algae controls what's causing this to be cloudy. Um, so I might have to go back to what I was using before if I can get this cleared up. So far this has been about two days, maybe three, and it's still pretty cloudy, it's still green, although I can see the algae's pretty much I wouldn't say dead or gone, but I mean greatly minified. It, it's not on the edges. No new algae growth is on the edges. So the roots on these plants are doing fantastic. Let me show you. It's a little bright. Sorry about that. So I don't know if you can see that very well. I mean, just huge roots on this thing. Um, white roots too, not a lot of algae in the roots, so that's great because <clears throat> they were green before. Alright, so looking at the squash, the squash is again large. Um, I mean, I don't know if you can see over there, uh, I've got another squash over there in the shade. I'll take, it to, take you to it in a minute. This has already for, uh, surpassed what's growing in the ground tremendously, so you know. It's one of the great benefits of aquaponics is just the constant water flow and the type of nutrition they're getting. They just do so much better. Uh, I've actually already trimmed this up. I've cut back. You can see some of the leaves over here. Trimmed up a bunch of them. Of course, they're much smaller now that they've all wilted. But uh, trimmed it up so I can get in here more. It's not shading everything. Got a ton of blooms in here. Or things that will be blooms, I guess. Got a few flowers. Now I don't see much, uh, I don't see many bees at all around here for some reason. So I may have to try to pollinate some of this stuff myself because I'm just not, we've already had several blooms that never, you know, never, uh, nothing became of it. So I'm going to have to maybe monitor that and deal with it myself. But so I've got the strawberries in here. I've uh, cut back a lot of the runners on the established plants to kind of clean up some of this or, um, and, and kind of help some of these strawberry uh, I guess plants or bushes actually start to get larger and kill some of the runners so more of that plant growth goes into the actual plant itself. We've got a I believe a jalapeno here, jalapeno there. This is actually even though it's kind of a small plant it's got, I don't know if you can see it in there, it's already got a few buds. Um, I don't know if you can see all the way back through there. There are several buds on that jalapeno plant as well. Um, my tomato plant is doing great. Here it is. It used to be, you know, I mean, this is all from, mostly from seed. Uh, it was like that tall, and here it is, you know, foot and a half tall. It's doing great. It's got some soon to be buds up here. Oh, and kill that grasshopper. I'm not really catch him right now. I'll do it after the video. So another thing, um, I'll show you some more of the plants here in a minute, but I'm trying not to make this a long video. I have covered tank with this black plastic. So this may not be a good idea, I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure this out. I was trying to block in the out, out the algae. Problem is 
this is super hot. Now, I don't want my water to get too hot. And I've done this to the tank as well. As a matter of fact, let me check the temperature on this. See if it's... Um, temperature is rising a little bit. It's about 82 right now. So, what I'm about to do, try to fix this, is I'm going to cover this black plastic with this silver stuff here to reflect off some of that sun. Hopefully that helps because while the water is just a little too hot right now, 82 degrees, I mean it's a little too warm for what I want. I want about mid 70s this is, and we're not even, you know, this is only 92 degrees outside right now. It's going to get hotter. So I've got to figure that out. I'm trying to kill the algae but it's not great. I haven't actually seen my fish recently because of all the algae. Uh, it makes me a little nervous because I haven't seen them at all in the last three days. Um, and they usually hide up in that little tube right there, one or two of them. I haven't seen them at all. I've moved my net around, don't see them, although nothing's floated to the top and I didn't catch anything in the net. So I'm thinking they're okay and I'm still feeding them. So um, I really could probably make this into two videos. I've got a lot to talk about, but I'll just try to keep it short for this one. Um, back around here, we've got some more kale. This is dinosaur kale. Another dinosaur kale, jalapeno, a couple of jalapenos. I've got this uh, water, baby watermelon, which is doing really well. Um, I'm going to have to probably self pollinate this as well. Again, I'm not seeing any uh, bees to pollinate these little baby watermelons. Um, so I've yet to get one established. And let me take you over here. I didn't want to throw out my, a lot of my seedlings. Um, so I've planted them in this little, you know, flower bed basically. And they're doing okay. Um, very slow growing. You could probably water them more, but um, trying to be a little conservative on how much water I'm using lettuce back there. I've also got a couple of lettuce in the aquaponics, but here's the squash. It's doing pretty good too. Um, that watermelon's not doing much of anything. It's being pretty slow. I'll show you one last thing. Got some baby spinach in here and oh yeah, some uh, lettuce. And I'm playing a couple little little new things. Spinach is new and some peas that will be ready to uh, harvest soon. This thing's getting pretty loaded with peas. So, um, yeah, things are growing really well. Just got to control the temperature, get the algae cleaned up, and, uh, and, and, that, and then we should be good. So thanks, guys, for watching.